here for this is your spag for week six day three and four so before you watch this video you should have already seen the pixar short version of presto which is talking about the magician and the rabbit you should also have read the waggle before you start this and found out the meaning of any unusual words that you're not sure of so paragraph and sentence Okay, so on day three, you've got paragraph level analysis. You can see that I've chosen some of the sentence data for an example. You might have some different ones, but these are just the ones I'm going to use in this particular example. So it asks you to match the titles to the paragraphs. You can see that I have got five titles and there are five titles in your waggle apart from the introduction, because in the newspaper article, the introduction is slightly separate and not part of the main piece of writing. Use my examples to write your own titles. So that's the first thing you do. You can see that I have chosen to look at a fantastical future and I've rewritten my own version as a prosperous future friendship. Now I've had to look back at the paragraph to do that, to try and find out what the paragraph's about and try and find a short snappy way of explaining that. I want you to try and think of a different one you could use. Don't just change the adjective. See if you can re-explain it. So you can see my pink sentence underneath. The title is a summary of the paragraph because it explains that the rabbit and magician were friends at the end of the show, whereas earlier in the show, the rabbit had been torturing the magician. Basically, my 1A is explaining my noun, my friendship. It's explaining why friendship is useful in that paragraph and why, therefore, it's good in the title. Why is it relevant is basically the question. 1B. Now, before you start your purple sentence, check that you've got some adjectives in your title, because if you've not got enough words in your title, you will really struggle to do a second sentence. So a prosperous future is basically what I'm talking about in the second one. This creates the impression that the double act of the rabbit and the magician could earn them money in the future and be a good thing for them both. So obviously we've used the word future in the example, but there's also in the title. The word prosperous means that it's going to earn them money. That is actually what it means. And if it's going to earn them money, it's probably going to be a positive thing. It's going to be a good thing. So I've just tried to explain that in my purple sentence. So you have a couple of steps for each paragraph. Once you have matched the titles to the paragraphs, you need to write your own version. Then you need to use a pink sentence to explain why it's relevant to the paragraph. And then the purple sentence to explain any adjectives and explain it a bit further, talking about the ideas of the reader. So day four is sentence level analysis. So you can see that I've picked a particular bit of the waggle and I've already highlighted it for you to choose sentences that I'd like you to do. I haven't done some of the speech because it gets to a point where it's quite hard to analyse it because I'm, I've written that waggle as though the person is talking and therefore there's a limit to how much you can analyse that particularly. Right, the sentence is affected because it tells the reader or the sentence describes. We're just focusing on the pink sentence this time round. You will work on the other ones next week. So you can see from my yellow one, with a world exclusive interview, the Chronicle can reveal that this was due to the actions of Presto the Rabbit, who had been moving the Chronicle magic hat all evening, leading to Giotagione pulling unusual items out the hat. Let's analyse the language in that sentence first before we start writing anything. World exclusive interview. OK, so that means that only they have this information. So that could be something we could say. The Chronicle, that's the name of the newspaper. They can reveal this was due to the actions of Presto the rabbit. I think that's the first time that it actually tells us the name of the rabbit. So it might be an important detail. It explains that the rabbit had been moving the Chronicle magic hat all evening. So it's saying that he's responsible. So that might be something we need to include. Leading to the magician be careful on that spelling. The reason it's that spelling rather than having simplified the name of the magician is that it's actually mentioned in the video because you can see the posters of his magic act. So it leads to him pulling unusual items out of the hat. So you can see my pink sentence. The sentence describes that the rabbit was responsible for the problems of the magic hat trick that evening. I think that's the main point of that sentence. You might disagree. See if you can rewrite it, have a think about it. But the whole point of the pink sentence is not to repeat the sentence. It's to pick out the key information. What is the reader learning that they did not know before? 
What's the new information of that sentence? Okay, have a go at finding the purpose of each sentence. You can see as an example, I've just listed 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A, 5A for each of the sentences. You should have already looked at any vocabulary you don't understand. So spend some extra time if you're not sure what it means, trying to figure it out using a dictionary or Google to help you. You can do it. Good luck.